So I'm just really excited. I have nervousness. I actually have stage fright, but I can feel it calming down because I'm more sure of who I am. So when I'm gonna be there, I'm just excited to showcase all of the work that I've been doing. <laughs> I know you're hungry. Thank you very much. It's Mark Bumgarner. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm very happy because uh, this is the first time I get to wear Mark, so I'm very blessed. Okay, since you are Yes. 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 Tell us something more about yourself. Okay, since it's the last part, I'm gonna make something fun. I don't know if all of you know, but I really wish to have a tree house. I wanna build my own little tree house, dito sa Shargao. That is one of my biggest dreams talaga. But not just a, any tree house, it's a tiny tree house. So that is something that's really dear to me. And I want to have a sustainable place where I can just grow my vegetables, get my water. That's really what I would like. Thank you. <laughs> What is one beautiful word in your language and what does it mean? Tagalog, basically, for you? Mm, there are a lot of words that I like in Tagalog, but I think the best word that I can describe is mabuhay. Because it's so unique. It's the only thing that once you um, announce yourself, that's the first thing that you say. You say, mabuhay, and everybody knows naman that you're from the Philippines. So that's the word I choose. <laughs> okay, so what is that one learning experience that you have as a child? I have many actually, but the one that I would love to go back to is my childhood. And my childhood because I had such an amazing time with my mom and dad. They come from different cultures, but I had to embrace both of them. My Filipina side, my French side, and at the same time, I grew up in Macau. So I also learned Chinese also. So I learned Chinese, and at the same time, after Chinese, I also went to a Portuguese school. So it was a lot to embrace, but I really learned so much. And and what I learned is that we all have different traditions, cultures. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. What about this pandemic? What's the most There are many lessons I've learned during this pandemic. I feel like I become a woman during this pandemic. I became 26 years old. I faced a lot of challenges. I went from having no team to being my own style team to being my own financial supporter to being my number one router. And that is one of the biggest lessons that I can say is that I'm so proud to be in Miss Universe Philippines. Even with the pandemic, I feel that I'm accomplishing one of my biggest dreams. And it's a very big challenge, but I can say that I'm confident in who I am and who I'm becoming, and I'm so happy. Thank you, Direk. <laughs> Sorry. If you win the title, how do you plan to further help your community? Well, if I do get the chance to be Miss Universe Philippines, the thing that I would say the most is how about mental health? It's something really dear to me because I've experienced depression. I've been through a lot of abuse in my life. And I don't want anyone to have um, a stigma behind it. I want people to understand and be more open-minded to open communication in your family, especially here at Safinas. I feel like a lot of us have this crab mentality. A lot of us have a lot of things that we don't want to share to the world. And that's something that I know it's my advantage because I firsthand was there and no. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what color do you think symbolizes the phenomenal woman? Mm, I would say morena, morena skin, and that's something that I really embrace. A lot of the people here in the Philippines, unfortunately, we have been brainwashed for maybe just uh, embracing white people's skin, but that's not actually our colors because we are different types of Filipina. All of us have different colors and we should embrace all of them. But for me, I'm a morena, so I will embrace morena. That's what I will choose. Thank you. Um, we've been hearing a lot of uh, work, um, work from home is now part of the Nina. Yes. So what do you think is a skill needed to um, for this new type of, uh, for this new workspace or new workplace of the future? 
Um, there's a lot of things that we need. For sure, of course, we need to put our health in first hand. Like I said, I think mental health is very important, but I would also go with things that are simple, like bakery or food. That's essential for this time. I think that's the things that are keeping us going, you know? We have to support our local brands. We have to support all of our friends. Even the fashion industry is getting a big hit. So if we can do anything from Zoom online, anything that is um, communicating still, I know it's very difficult, but it's something that we will need and we can do. Thank you. Um, you know, if there's one uh, place or spot in the gig, yes. whether it's man-made or natural, that you want to promote to the world, what would yes. you well, I live next to, I'm very fortunate to be near um, Fort Strip. So I really, really like this place because it has a bunch of everything. It, we are known to be an entertainment zone, but at the same time, we have our sustainability. So thankful for all of the people that have their own back, um, in the, in the man backyard, but their own balcony. They can grow also their veggies and fruits. But the place that I would say for me, it would be Fort Strip, one of my favorite coffee places. And it has, because coffee. Yes. <laughs> There's a campaign now that's hashtag love, love local. Yes. What local product would you want? Well, I, uh, yesterday when I had my rehearsals, I was wearing Bench and they have local made products now. So I'm really, really proud of that. So I would promote Bench because it's very affordable. It's very Filipino. All of the things that are made there are authentic. And I like to wear something that is representing of us. Thank you. Uh, last question for you is, what's one thing you think young people should focus on? Okay, there are many things that young people should focus on, but one of the biggest things that they should focus on is how to be confident in yourself. What does that mean exactly? You have to ask the most difficult questions. What do you want to do with your life? What is your biggest purpose? What is something that will make you happy? Because a lot of young people have the opportunity to learn so much. We have the internet and that's so uh, a gift in itself. You can learn so many things. Ako naman, I learned my makeup in my internet. So that is one of the biggest advantages. But we need to learn how to use our things properly. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know that you're all tired, but just one more lang and then we're good. <laughs> Salamat. To all of my supporters, all of the Lemonades, every single person that is actually supporting the Miss Universe Philippines, I want to thank you so much. I know that this is not the pageant that you all expected due to the pandemic, but we are doing so much hard work and we are trying to keep up the energy. It is sleepless nights. A lot of work has been gone through these nine months and I really want to say thank you so much for still being here, still supporting us ladies. And from the bottom of my heart, my Lemonades, I love you so much. Thank you to my family, to my boyfriend, to be my number one supporter and I love you.